Finally, after a bit of a struggle this afternoon, I found myself in quite a good place with this BSA, uh, the 1930 Model L engine bottom end. And I've got the oil pump is all fitted back to the crankcase now and all this, um, this drive gear and everything is in place. Whether we'll see that on the dark side, but it's there. All ready to go and new gaskets made up for the oil pump and everything and that's all screwed and fastened in as it should be. So then I warmed up the crankcases and fitted the new main bearings and um, I spent quite a bit of time on the shimming actually of the drive side. Um, and I've got it now how I want it with the conrod. Centre of the conrod corresponds to the centre line of the crankcases. But I'd uh, run into a little bit of an issue with, as I spun the crank, there was a very faint knock every time the crank went around top dead centre. And it was the crank pin nut literally just clipping the outer race of the time inside roller bearing. And it seems as if my new replacement for the original one, which may have been from 94 years ago, may have been a few thou wider on its outer race. So I literally just had to give it a lick with a linisher disc in one spot just to sort of move it away from where the crank pin that could hit it and now we've got it spinning nice and freely and quietly as well. And uh, if we remember I made a video of this crank before I removed it with the uh, obviously the flywheels waggling around quite a lot. Well obviously we had the uh, the time inside main shaft was loose on its rivets and wobbling around in the flywheel. That's not happening anymore. And I got this within a couple of thou run out on the main shafts, I think, if I remember. I was uh, very pleased with it. I think it was less than two thou in real terms. And also, with the cases clamped together tightly, I can do this. So it's spinning nice and freely, there's barely any end flow and that will be taken up on the drive side the way that the uh, the cush drive or um, shock absorber assembly works. That will bear up against, you can see the inner race of the outer main ball bearing there and uh, there will be no end flow when that's fitted tightly and secured. So that's all looking very good and that wraps my day up and actually I'm... Uh, off to the pub, believe it or not.